This time, I'll report further news about Japanese monster pitcher Loki Sasaki. You can watch my previous videos to learn about his recent stories. Loki Sasaki made his starting start against the Fox on July 24th, 2023 Japanese time. Sasaki allowed just one run on four hit with nine strikeout over six innings in his team's 2-1 walk-off win. He had no decision leaving the round with a 1-0 Hawks lead. Sasaki had the first game after the All-Star game and pitching of four days rest was the first time challenge. Since turning pro, he has never had four days rest between stats. In the first inning, Sasaki allowed a lead-off single to Makihara. He struck out Kondo and Yanagida consecutively with his fork ball, but in the two-out situation with a runner on second, Nakamura hit a slider to right field. This season, it marked the first run allowed at Kobe against the Pacific League group opponents. He approached the mound intending to contribute to the team's victory with his usual pitching style. However, his usual style this season, which had repeatedly reached a top velocity of 102 mile hour, was not quit there. He relied more on his breaking balls, especially his fork ball. He only threw one pitch over 99 mile hour, which came on the third pitch to Yanagida in the sixth inning. Former major leaguer and manager Masato Yoshi revealed, I think he had something in mind that led to that speed. His average passable velocity this time was the slowest at 96.8 mph this season, but he effectively mixed it up with his pokeball, which varied from 90.7 mph to 82.6 mph. Although, his streak of consecutive games with double-digit strikeout ended at 3. His team had a walk-off win on a two-run home run. He thanked his teammate who helped him erase his first loss against a Pacific League opponent this season. Loki is now 7 wins and 2 losses with a 1.48 ERA. He is currently leading the Pacific League in ERA and strikeouts. I had bad news on the 25th. He was placed on the disabled list on that day. That was due to a left oblique muscle strain. On this day, he visited the hospital in Chiba Prefecture and was diagnosed with a left oblique muscle strain. He sustained the injury while pitching to the last batter in the game. Manager Masato Yoshii said it will take about two months until he can pitch at full strength. It might take even longer if it's slower, but I hope he can return sometime this season. Unfortunately, we may not be able to see his pitching this season. I hope he gets better as soon as possible. Good luck, Rocky. Thank you for watching. Thank you, baseball. See you next time.